everybody. So we have a new doll here today. This is Mirabelle. This is one of the new Our Generation dolls. She has kind of a kind of like a medium to dark skin tone. It's kind of close to dark and kind of close to medium. It's kind of sort of in the middle. Not super dark, not super light. So it's kind of medium skin tone. And she has really nice, really nice brown eyes that kind of look like the tenny brown eyes, kind of. Really pretty. And she has, she has this orange hair with some blonde highlights in it. Kind of those blondish yellow highlights. You can see that. And she comes with this dress that is kind of, it's kind of a light pink. Kind of a peach color. And then it has some darker peach at the bottom. I thought it was orange at first, but it's actually a peach dress with some orange at the bottom. Kind of pretty. And then she also comes with these pink colored shoes that have little hearts on them. You can see that. And she comes with these sunglasses that are orange with hearts, lenses. Very cute. And that's all that she comes with. So the pros for this doll is definitely her price. Um, right now she is $22, regular $26, but you can get her on sale today for $22. So that is an amazingly good price for an 18-inch doll. The cons, I would say, is that her vinyl is very, very squishy. Um, it's very easy to squeeze, so it's very easy for this doll to get dented. I find that our generation dolls in general are very easy to get dented because they're very squishy. And I don't know if you can fix them because I've never really tried to fix them. But she kind of has like this pinkish, orangey hair it's kind of like a peach and orange kind of kind of more of like a peach color so it's very interesting it looks orange in the stock photos but it's more of like a peach so it's very interesting hair with some like yellowish orange highlights so her hair is actually kind of more of a peach color where it looks orange in the stock photos but it's actually more peach She's actually more of a peach doll. Kind of reminds me of the anime character Peach Girl. If you guys have ever seen her. I get that sort of vibe from her. So if you guys have ever seen the anime. I get that sort of vibe from her. Now another con would I would say would be the rooting. Because if you move the hair around a lot. You will see that even though that seems like there's a lot of hair. You move it around a lot you can see like there are some patches where there isn't a lot of rooting there's areas where there's a lot of rooting and then there's areas where there's a little bit sparser so I would say she's not completely well rooted she has some more sparse areas where if you move the hair around there's some sparse areas where there's not that many plugs but her hair does feel very good so I will say that her hair does feel very good to the touch so like I said her hair is more of a peach color than an orange kind of looks orange in the stock photos but it is more peach I would say and her dress is more of a peach color so I'm not sure what they were going for. Maybe like Georgia from Rainbow High or something. But it's very interesting. She has like a peach color outfit. And then her glasses are kind of orange. I don't know what they were doing. <laughs> but it's interesting. She's very cute though. And I do like her eyes. So yes. Overall she does seem pretty well stuffed. So overall, I do like this doll. Um, I would say a young child would probably really like her as well. 
Um, if you can't afford an American Girl doll, this might be a good option for you. Um, it's actually a really, it's a good price, and you get a pretty decent doll for the money. Um, yeah, this really isn't too bad. Um, overall, pretty decent buy. I would say if you can't afford an American Girl, this is actually a really good buy. Um, I would probably recommend the American Girl if you can afford it, but if you can't, this is actually a really good buy. Um, the eyes do open and close. They are not the same quality, obviously, but obviously the hair is not the same quality either. Um, the whole doll is not American Girl quality, obviously. It's made out of a different type of plastic. It's not the same quality, but if you can't afford an American Girl, this is not a bad option. It's pretty decent quality if you need something and you can't afford anything really expensive. She does come with underwear that are pink. So she does come with pink underwear as well. And that is about all I have to say. Um, the face, the facial mold is actually really pretty. And she seems to be pretty well painted. I don't see any terrible issues with this doll. So I would say I would recommend her if you need a doll and you can't afford an American girl, or you just want a cute doll and you want something affordable. This is actually a really good option. I will be reviewing the other colorful hair girls and the Muslim doll that came out, so make sure to stay tuned for that. If you would like, you can subscribe and you will be notified when they are uploaded. And I will see you next time. Bye now.